Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Summers. This is Miss Tiffany. How was everybody doing today? We really miss y'all. Excuse me, my phone ringing. We really miss y'all. We want you to know that we love you. Today, we're gonna to do a lesson on subtraction. We know when we do subtraction that we make our total smaller. But first of all, I'm gonna ask you, what is your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal is Honey Nut Cheerios. What's your favorite cereal, Miss Tiffany? Frosted Flakes. What are your favorite cereals, boys and girls? Do you like Rice Krispies or Golden Grahams? Do you like Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, Honey Smacks, Kids? Just think, what is your favorite cereal? What do you have there at home that you like to eat in the mornings or eat it as a midnight snack? Because cereal is good for you. Since we're at home, we're gonna use our cereal as counters. So whatever cereal you have at your home, just get it out and get five pieces because those are going to be our counters so if you can get your cereal out and count out five pieces while you're doing that i'm just going to give you some reminders remember when we subtract we make the total smaller sometimes i may say subtract i may say minus or I may say, take away. All three terms mean the same thing. So if I say three, take away one equals two. If I say six, take away five equals one. I may say four minus one equals three. Or I may say, three subtract one so if any if i say subtract minus or take away it means the same thing now the answer in a subtraction problem is the difference okay so remember that word difference can you say difference i may say the answer is four or i may say the difference is four Remember, it means the same thing. Okay, do you have your cereal ready? All right, so let's get down to business. Count out five pieces of cereal right in front of you. Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, and five good now the first problem i'm going to give you is three take away two so out of your five i'm going to ask you to take away three and move it over from the other ones now remember our equal sign, when we do a number problem, we say it equals. So let's do the equal sign. Thank you, Miss Tiffany. So we have the subtraction sign or the minus sign or the takeaway sign. Then we have an equal sign. So let's do three, take away two. How many do we have left? Two. Three, take away two. Three, take away two, Miss Tiffany. There we go. Three. My phone was ringing. <laughs> <laughs> three, take away two equals one. So the difference is one, or the answer is one. Let's try another problem. Let's use all five of our 
see all five pieces of our cereal. So put all five pieces right in front of you. We're gonna call this cereal math, okay? So we're doing our cereal math today. So this problem says five. Take away three equals. So let's look at our five pieces and we're going to count out three and move them over to the side. Ready? One, two, and three. So our answer is what? Two. Two. So if you have two, you got it right. Good job. So the difference is two, or the answer is two. Let's do another one. Let's count out four pieces. Four pieces of cereal. Let's count one, two, three. Four. All right. So let's say we only need four. That's why we always touch and count. When you count one to one, you touch the object and then you count. Let's count again. One, two, three, four. All right, so our problem is going to be four, take away two, okay? Or I could say four minus two, right? So let's look at our four. We want to count out two, push them over by themselves, Take away two, one, two. And what is the answer you have left? Two. Two. Right. One, two. So four subtract two equals two. So the difference is two. Well, the answer mm -hmm. is two. Let's do another one. All right. This time, I only want you to use one piece of cereal, just one, all right? And so let's count that, one. All right, the problem now is one, take away one. So what would be the answer? Take away one, move it over to the side. So what's your answer? Zero. Zero. So the answer is zero. And we know zero means nothing. Okay, very good. Now, later on, you're going to be doing uh, the differences of 10. All right, you're, you're going to use the number 10. 10 is a, a big number. So let's do one or two right quick just to give you a little bit of practice. All right, so you already have five pieces of cereal out. So count out five more pieces in our cereal math today. All right, so in all, you need 10 pieces of cereal. So if you would just put them right straight across in front of you, it would make, it would be easier for you to count, okay? So, cause we're gonna count. Remember we touch and count. You always go back and count because sometimes we may make a mistake. So let's count our series, starting with touch and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, we have our 10 pieces of cereal. Let's count out five now. We want to, the problem would be 10 take away five. So let's count out five. One, two, 
three, four, five. So take five and move them away, all the way over. And let's look and see what our answer is going to be. Let's count what we have left. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. So what is your answer? Five. Five. So we know 10, take away five equals five. Very good. And we're going to continue to practice these numbers. Just remember that you have the minus sign, you have the equal sign. There are different terms we use. We may say take away, we may say minus, or we may say to subtract. I may say the answer is, and I may say the difference is. Okay, so remember these terms. And we'll be seeing you soon. Now you may eat your cereal. Bye. Bye.